guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Denise Perez, and today we are making something pretty cool. Did you know that you can bond a bunch of plastic bags together with an iron? Well, I only just learned this technique last week and I immediately had to give it a try. So today we are going to make this really cool tote bag. So grab all of the plastic bags you can find and let's get started. For today's DIY, you'll need 12 recycled plastic bags. I found that thicker ones work best. An iron, parchment paper, and I made my tote bag with a sewing machine, but this can also be done by hand with thread and needle. And I show you a stitch that you can use by hand towards the end of my video. So you want to start by grabbing all of your bags and laying them flat on the table to get them ready for cutting. And then you want to put them off to the side and I'm going to show you here how I cut my bags. So what you want to do is grab your scissors um, with your bag laid flat on the table. I started by cutting the bottom of the bag like you see here. And when you cut off the bottom, you'll see that you're able to open up the bag. So I make sure I open it up all the way, lay it down flat, and then I cut off the top of the bag as well. So then now I have this rectangular shape and then what I'm gonna do is, again, lay it down flat and just cut the sides so that I end up with two layers of plastic. And then you want to set that aside and you're going to do the same thing to the remainder of your bags. So I'll be doing this for 11 more. So I'll have a total of 12 cut up bags, making a total of 24 layers of plastic. When you're done cutting up all of your bags, what you wanna do next is grab all of your different layers of plastic, pile them on top of each other to make them nice and neat and prep them for ironing. So what I'm doing here is just making sure that they line up as best as they can. And I will be using eight layers of plastic per side of the tote bag. Since I'm using eight layers per side, I'm gonna end up with three piles of eight layers of plastic. So that uses up all of the 20, 24 layers that we cut up. So now it's time to iron all of these plastic pieces together. So as you can see, I've already prepped my space by putting down a towel. And what I wanna do first is grab some parchment paper and I am going to put some down underneath of the plastic and then also over top so that we can iron it. And before I put the parchment paper on top of the plastic, here I'm just making sure that all of my pieces line up as best as they can uh, because once we put the parchment paper on top, it's gonna be time to iron and we aren't gonna be able to move it very much. As you can see, I'm using several pieces of parchment paper since it's not wide enough for my plastic bags. Just make sure that your parchment paper covers all of your plastic, otherwise your iron will burn through the plastic if you put it directly on them. 
When everything is nice and neat, it's time to iron over the parchment paper. My iron is set to the max temperature, and what I'm doing here is just ironing over uh, as if it were a piece of clothing. And at first I started off a little slow because I wasn't sure exactly how it was going to work, but it actually works pretty fast. So I would recommend passing over the entire plastic first and then going back and going over pieces that still need to bond together. So after about two to three minutes of ironing, you want to peel the parchment paper um, from the plastic and you'll see that the plastic has started to bond together and at that point you can check it out and see if there's anything that is still uh, loose and if it is, you can just simply put the parchment paper over it again and keep ironing until everything is nice and bonded together. So here we have our first piece of plastic for our tote bag. So what you're gonna do next is do the same thing for the other two layers that we've already put together and set aside. And just be careful before handling this plastic because it is hot right after you're done ironing it. Um, so just let it cool down a few seconds before you start touching it. And here I am ironing eight more layers to create a second panel that we'll use for the tote bag. And here I'm getting ready to iron my last eight pieces of plastic making a third panel for my tote bag. And I found this DSW bag that had these cool black and white lines. So I figured it'd be kind of cool to mix and match some of the colors in my tote bag. And then here's a great example of what not to do. I decided to kind of take an easy way out, use one piece of parchment paper, and then move it around the plastic to iron it that way. But as you can see, I burned a little hole through my plastic bags, but it's all good. I learned from my mistake and I added another piece of parchment paper and then continued to work that way. Now that we have all of our plastic bonded together, it's time to cut all of our parts for the tote bag. So you wanna start by cutting two pieces, measuring 11 and a half by 13 inches. That's gonna give us our front and back of the tote bag. Then you wanna cut two pieces of six and a half by 13 inches. These are going to be the sides of our tote bag. And then finally, you wanna cut a piece that measures 11 and a half inches by six and a half inches and that's going to be the bottom of our tote bag. We also need to cut two pieces for the handles measuring 14 by two inches. And here you see that I've already traced out my first cut and I wanna maximize the surface area of the plastic. So I made sure to make my cut as close to the edge as possible so that I don't waste any of the plastic. As you cut your pieces, you may notice that you may have to go back with the iron on some of them and that's what I'm doing here. And when you have all of your pieces cut and ready to go, it's time to sew everything together and make our tote bag. So you'll see here that I'm using a sewing machine, but you can definitely do this by hand using a thread and needle. It'll just take a little longer, but it's super easy. I'll show you what stitch to use towards the end of the video. So I'm gonna start by sewing my two pieces together. I'm starting with what's gonna be the bigger side or the front of my bag to the side of the bag and I'm placing right sides 
out, so our stitch is going to be exposed. So I've sewn my first two pieces together and at this point I was really excited because I can start to really visualize what my tote bag is going to look like. And as you can see my stitch is exposed and just as a reminder make sure that you always put your wrong sides together, good sides or right sides out. And here I'm trying to figure out what piece to sew next and I went with what's going to be the back side or the front side of my tote bag and I lined my pieces together and then I stitched them up the same way. So at this point I have three of my tote bag panels stitched together and I need one more and I know you can't see it very well but I'm taking that fourth piece here and I am lining it up and then getting ready to stitch it up the exact same way. And here as you can see I have all four panels stitched together and the only thing left to do is make it into like a box so putting the ends together lining them up and then stitching that up Now what we have to do here is attach the bottom to our tote bag. So here's where I realized that I had stitched down way too far. I should have left about a quarter of an inch from the bottom edge, um, but I went ahead and undid some of the stitches just to make it easier on me to attach the bottom. And then I went ahead and stitched all four sides of the bottom panel to all four sides of my tote bag. And I'm not gonna lie, attaching the bottom to the bag is a little tricky, it's cumbersome, and you really have to try some things out and maneuver the bag to make it fit into the sewing machine. But I managed to find a way that worked for me and made it work.
All right, so I attached the bottom to my bag and whoa, at this point, I could not believe that I had gone this far and it was so looking like a tote bag. So now the only thing left to do is add the handles. So to add the handles here, what I'm doing is taking my 14 by two inches of plastic and I'm going to fold it so that both edges kind of overlap each other as I'm doing here. And then once I had my handle folded over exactly how I wanted, I went ahead and stitched along the middle to secure it. And if you're not using a sewing machine for this project, you can just sew a straight running stitch along the middle of the handle and that would work just fine. So this is how my handle ended up looking and then the only thing left to do is make the other one. And we're almost done with our tote bag here. The only thing left to do is attach our handles to the bag. So to do that, again, I use my sewing machine, um, but you can definitely do this by hand. I simply stitched the two ends and I just eyeballed where I wanted the handle and stitched it up there. And I'm sure this goes without saying, but I did the exact same thing on the other side so that we would have two handles. All right, so we're pretty much done. The only thing we have to do is cut off all of those extra strings and then we have our cute little bag. I'm just folding my tote bag here to make some of those creases that tote bags usually have, just to make it a little flexible and easier to use. So again, you can definitely hand sew the tote bag if you don't have a sewing machine. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna show you how to do that with this uh, scrap piece of plastic that I have. So I'm using just a regular needle and thread, just some that I had laying around. This is the same one I used for uh, my sewing machine. So what you're gonna do is thread it through the needle, and I made sure that the thread is doubled. So you'll see here that it's doubled and then I made a knot at the end. So what you wanna do is grab your two pieces um, that you're gonna sew together and the stitch that you wanna do is gonna be uh, exposed. So it's gonna you're gonna see it on the outside just like the, the one with the sewing machine. You can see the zigzag design um, on the outside of the tote bag. So you take your two pieces of two pieces together, right sides out, and start at the edge and poke your needle through. And you'll notice that it's not very hard. It's pretty easy to go through this plastic. So you're going to poke it through and then you want to start on the side where you poked it and then sew through and you'll see a stitch going over the two pieces and you want to continue doing that until you're done with your sewing on that side. There you go. I'm doing it again here. And then every five stitches or so, what I would recommend doing is adding in a knot. And to do that, you wanna do like a regular stitch, like we've been doing, and then 
right before you make it really tight, you'll see a loop here and you want to put your needle through that loop and then pull and that's going to create a little knot and then you can do it again. Same thing, put it through the loop, pull, and that'll create a knot and it'll ensure that your pieces don't come apart. And then you just continue with the same stitch all along the side. One more stitch. This is like the fifth one, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a little knot. Do it again. There we go, and it gives you a nice knot. And then another reason you wanna do this with plastic is that this, with fabric, thread will kind of catch onto the fibers of the, of the fabric that you use but because this is plastic this thread easily comes up and down like through the plastic so you want to make sure you make good knots all along the edge so that your tote bag lasts for a really long time so there you go All right guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope that you'll give this cool tote bag a try because not only is it handy, but you'll also be reducing your carbon footprint on our beautiful planet. If you do decide to give it a try, I'd love to see how they turned out. Please tag me on my Instagram page at Denise Perez underscore art. Until next time guys, bye.